All right, here's a little teaser trailer for Where Bad Girls Go to Fall. This is book two of the Good Girls series by Holly Renee. This particular one is read by Samantha Cook and Teddy Hamilton, and it is being presented by Audio MG. Without much further ado, I'm just going to drop you right into the thick of things, with an emphasis on the thick. I stalked toward her, and her pupils dilated as I came closer and closer to her. She opened her mouth to say something, but I didn't give her a chance. I ran my fingers in her hair, and I slammed her small body back against the wall as my body pressed fully against hers. She moaned, soft and low, and I swallowed the sound when my mouth met hers. It wasn't the same kind of kiss as earlier. That kiss was slow, calculated teasing. That kiss was from the guy who was smooth with the ladies. But this kiss? I didn't even know what the hell this kiss was. All I knew was that I had lost every bit of control that I normally possessed, and I was dying to taste her. I was dying to taste every single part of her that she would let me. She moaned again, and my tongue slipped inside her mouth. Her tongue touched mine, and I needed more. I gripped her thighs in my hands, trying to gain some ounce of control, but that flew out the window when she lifted her legs and let me pull them around my hips. I pressed my body farther against hers, and we moaned in unison as our centers pressed against one another. Stacy seemed to possess as much control as I did. She gripped my hair with her hands, and she tugged at the strands, causing a bit of pain as she nipped at my lip. She ground her hips against me and I shuddered as I felt her tight little body against mine. I lifted her from against the wall, and I didn't even think as I slammed her down against her worktop. Shit flew everywhere. Ink of every different color that had been painted on my body dripped to the floor, down our legs, but neither one of us cared. Stacy reached between us and gripped the edge of her shirt in her hands before it went flying through the room. My mouth instantly dropped to her chest. My kisses, a frenzy of lips and tongue and teeth against her soft skin. Her perfect breasts were still encased in her tiny black lace bra. Black brace bra. That's the difficulty of these things. you got to be careful. Each word, exactly as written. Here we go. Her perfect breasts were still encased in her tiny black lace bra, but I didn't let it deter me. I latched my mouth around the lace. She leaned her head back on a silent cry, and something else hit the floor as her hands reached out for something to ground her. And you just finished. All right. And then my... And then my... My... Anyway, there we go.